Hello everyone, Chairman Seen here, and today I'm showing you how to view in real time what's going on on your Apache access logs. Now, the Apache access logs log all the transactions from a client's web browser to the Apache server, and uh, all the HTTP GET uh, posts and all the other HTTP messages that happen during the transaction when a client is on the web page. Uh, accessing a web page on your server so I've already logged into my server okay this is obviously a test environment uh, so uh, always remember on a live production server root is never a good login to use but since we're in a lab not to worry now the very first thing I want to do is go into my log directory and then in my log directory, well, I'm going to change directory to Apache 2. That's where my Apache login, that's uh, where my Apache install is. And then I'm going to run this command tail space access dash log and then dash F. And what this will do is pull up a window. Um, basically what I've told it is give me the tail end of the file uh, the tail end of access.log and DAC and tac f tells it to follow this file follow it meaning for any changes I want to see them right away now time to go to my web page I'm going to go 192.168.1.23. One and as you can see, right here, 192.168.1.8 on May 14, 2014 at 12.52. There you go, 12.52. Okay. Did an HTTP GET request for the file. <coughs> for the uh, index file and then there was also another HTTP get for the fave icon.ico if you notice um, sometimes on some pages when you go to uh, on the very top you'll see a little icon of uh, of that web page so something like PC mag for instance sometimes there's a favorites icon that's part of the HTTP get now you can see uh, for instance if I if I were an attacker doing this okay, maliciously trying to repeatedly trying to access this web page you could see all the different HTTP get requests okay and obviously um, in your logs when I'm looking if I'm looking here and I'm seeing constant request uh, constant get request from one IP for this uh, for the same directory that could potentially be a, an attacker okay then uh, for instance there's another one where I'm in the server and if I do if I try to access a directory that does not exist so say my directory you can also see here there was a get from my directory but there was a f error 404 okay uh, you can also then see if an attacker is trying to trying to guess if there's any directories like sales and one two So this can be used for debugging purposes. So if you have a website that ain't working properly, you can look in your access logs or for uh, security purposes, what I can do is exit out of this. And let's say I wanna see, uh, I suspect that there's one IP trying to brute force uh, my web server by doing a bunch of HTTP gets. I can do cat access log. Type grep and then the IP I suspect. Okay. 
and then you can see in the logs that for I grabbed for 192.168.1.8 okay you can also do if you want to grep for a specific condition so let's say grep 404 I can see all the 404 uh, errors that have been encountered okay so I hope that this video was informative and I hope uh, this tool is useful for you. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions about any one of my videos, please leave them in the comment section below. Please also visit my website, SeanMancini.com, and you can follow me on Twitter, at Mancinitech.com. Thank you for watching, everyone.